1 a.m. Taking shoes off tired feet. Heat up a lean cuisine. Open up a bud. Watch low budget films on Netflix. Starring a young and unknown Paul Rudd. Broken and tired working for IOUs. Your Uncle Sam let you down. Now you've got nothing to lose. The world spits in your face if you give it a chance. May as well give up and give in to circumstance. If it all burns down, you can take it all back and dance. Find new romance. So much Cajun food, you won't know what to do. So swing from a lamppost, look out for that train. Go to bed early with drugs for the pain. You'll die in assisted living and not be found there for weeks. And Ackworth, dreams come true. Be a record store owner or a dentist. It's all up to you. So develop some land. Go to a Christian high school. Promote a big party. Just don't call Ja Rule. In Ackworth, you'll do it. You'll rise to the top. You'll kill your boss and drown them in the lake in Ackworth. Thank you. Woo. Applause sound effect. Thank you. Welcome to Space Pigeon Radio episode number 20. Episode Hello. 20. Radio. It's magical. Hope that everyone is doing well. When we last left you, uh, we had a competition in which the man sitting right here, Michael Crow, had won the John Stamos That's Shrine. Right. That's right. Um, Fantastic event. Since that happened, uh, talk a little bit about what's happened with the John Stamos friend. Uh, uh, it's in the trunk still. <laughs> I haven't done anything <laughs> with it, really. Um, I was thinking about getting new frames or whatever, but I, I just don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I'll refurbish it. Very nice. Sitting with us, we have John uh, Dallas, the uh, Darth Professor Longbone. Woo! One of those names. What proud is new? What is new? Proud to be back on the finest of all cosmological avian broadcasts. Professor there Longbone. You, you know that uh, since uh, we've last been here, they found real space pigeons in outer space. There was a, uh, a, a unknown uh, series of radio oh, yeah. bursts from another that. galaxy. That oh, they yes. Found. More, yes. Yeah. What so, does it sound like? I just heard that they heard something in space. Does it sound like it? I'd like to think it. I'd like to think that. Yeah. yeah. We also got with us back again, Mr. Mike McGinley, who, What's up? Uh, you've been to New York a couple times a couple or something. Times. Yeah. Talk about being in New York. Uh, it's a, it's the Big Apple. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, it's, all your dreams come true. Where all your dreams, where all your dreams come true. No, uh, talk about your, uh, run-ins with wrestlers. Okay, that was weird. I got that, that's an interesting story. So, uh, like I went, I flew out of Atlanta a couple weeks ago, I guess it was, it was it was two weeks tomorrow. I flew out of Atlanta, and uh, it was about six thirty seven o'clock in the morning, and I stopped at Bojangles to get myself Bojangles plug right there to get mm. myself a delicious break, bacon egg and cheese biscuit oh, before nice. I hopped on my plane. Uh, uh, are they a sponsor this week? 
just by. Oh, no, we have a different sponsor this week. We'll, <laughs> okay. we'll get to All it. Right. Yes. Anyway, so uh, so I'm I'm finishing up my biscuit and I turn around and I heard some people like kind of making some noise, and out of the bathroom walks um, Ric Flair, <laughs> and he looks a thousand years old. Like he looks really bad, and he's probably like he's probably my dad's age, I guess. Yeah. But he look. I mean, Ric Flair looks like he's about to fall apart. He looks like. Skin's falling off of him, like his hair, just every, like the teeth. It just looks bad. So uh, he walks out, and I was like, "Holy shit!" There's Ric Flair, and uh, there was a lady behind the Bo- Bojangles ca- counter. That's he like, looked good enough that you she could tell it was Ric Flair. She goes, "Who the hell is that?" And, and I go, "That's Ric Flair." And I, and I looked over, and uh, and I was like, "Man, I could go get a picture with him." And I was like, "I don't want to do that." I was like, "I was like people like because I already saw people people that were like." responsible for the gates like delta people mm-hmm. like we're leaving their gate and running over to get a picture with rick flair like I, I was like that's probably not what they're supposed to be doing I mean, how many people do you think they see regularly though probably a lot gates. coming out of atlanta i would imagine so fast forward to tuesday after that so friday i fly out of atlanta to new york and then tuesday i'm flying out of LaGuardia, and uh i'm going to my gate and it got delayed so i was like all right i just want to go make sure that they didn't change the gate and i was with a co-worker like uh, late middle-aged lady, you know, and uh, and I'm walking, and standing right in front of the gate to get to it to fly out of Atlanta it was Delta Gate was Diamond Dallas Page. Wow. So I'm like, how the f- what the fuck is going on? And and he looked like I was gonna go up to him and just say hey, you uh-huh. know, because he's tall as shit. I didn't realize he's that tall. He's taller than me. He's like probably six five or yeah, so. Yeah. And uh, and I, I walk right past him, and he looked. He had his headphones on, and he looked pissed. I guess because the flight was delayed. And I was like, I'm not gonna go up to him. But I was like, like I looked at the coworker, uh, uh, and I was like, Hey, you know who that is? And she's like, No, he looks kind of scary. And I was like, I was like, This Diamond Dallas Page, he's a wrestler. She was like, You ever heard of him? She's DDP. Like, I think so. Yeah. And I was like, Because he 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 has his uh, yoga studio in Smyrna. Oh Jesus. So, yes. Yeah. I was gonna go up to him and be like, Hey, man, going back to Smyrna. Yeah. They all live in Atlanta. Yeah. DDP and I have a long history in uh, North Cobb High School. I've really? written about wrestling and the dangers of yeah. uh, you know, in the NWO gangs back in the late nineties. <laughs> And it didn't make me many friends, yeah. and but a few people remembered that incident. They only know me from that at my twenty year reunion. Okay, I went. I was like, I was like, yeah, I was a newspaper guy. Yeah, <laughs> remember I wrote about wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like uh, you're that motherfucker. Were they still oh, mad that about it? Well, they rem- that's what they remember. Really? Yeah. I mean, they don't remember classic yellow. Well, I was gonna anything, say you know? classic yellow. Like yeah. When I was in high school, I bagged groceries. I was working at Publix. Uh, you were working at Publix also. I was yes. a bag boy. I um, bagged groceries oh, yeah. for the biggest man I've ever were... seen in my yeah. life. And he had this really hot girl with him. And it took me a minute to realize he was the giant. Um, the guy he, in WCW, I think he was called the giant. Uh-huh. Oh, the that guy. guy. Oh, he yeah, played yeah. Captain Insano in that Adam Sandler movie. Oh, you know, yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his fingers were like the size of sausages. Yeah. He, he was like, because I'm pretty tall. This dude was like way above me. Yeah. His hands, he's trying to use the keypad, and he's yeah. got one of the Nitro girls or something was with him. Wow. It was like it was insane. I saw one of the Steiner brothers working out at Gold's Gym over yeah. by Kennesaw one time, and like the guy that I was working out with was a big wrestling fan. And I was like, oh, yeah, the St- it was one of the Steiner brothers. I remember them from when I was a kid. And he was like a big wrestling fan still, and he was like, dude, I'm going to go talk to him. And the guy was like doing like, 500 pounds or some shit and he was yelling he was like ah, ah, and i was like dude if you go over there right now that guy is gonna fucking kill you like <laughs> one time i had sex in the woods with hacksaw jim duggan <laughs> <laughs> i've heard the story <laughs> while he was Lord. chopping down wood to use for his big giant boards to hit people in the face with um maybe chopping should, down wood a lot of these uh, a lot mm. of these uh, podcasts do their ads kind of near the beginning so i got a, an ad from our new sponsor if you guys want to uh, do that um Yes. Our sponsor this week is uh, Sales Top A Hole. Did you know that 99% of companies have a problem with sales? Hi, we're here with an important message that will help you quadruple, quintuple, or even sextuple your sales. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. You can take this seminar, How to Close from the Top of the Mountain to the Bottom of A Hole. It's called Sales Top A Hole, and your sales will go through the roof. Your sales are the lifeblood of your business, whether you're selling fish, automotive parts, or drugs. Did you know that over 75% of deals don't close because your staff wasn't at the top of their game in sales? We'll show you all of the tricks to get your sales to explode like a fiery plane crash that may happen because of the air traffic controllers not getting paid. Did you know that with our time-tested, private, secret, revolutionary webinar techniques, we'll have you eating, sleeping, and shitting sales? Did you know that 90% of the time, you'll never close a sale 100% of the time? 
if you don't know how to talk or write? Let us help you. We're going to anoint you God of Sales in a secret ritual involving the sacrificial ash from a red heifer, knives, and runes. You'll sit on a throne of failed salesmen's corpses, counting your bonus, because the psychic force of your sales game will be so strong, it murders them. Did you know that more sales are closed every day by Chinese people than all non-Chinese people combined? If you want to learn these secret techniques, there is no number to call, no website to visit, no seminar to attend. Simply shout code 747 I am a sales top a hole into the trees at Red Top Mountain on the next blood moon happening May 26, 2021. That's code 747 I am a sales top a hole. Sales, 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 sales. Hail Salesden. <laughs> it really works. <laughs> do they pay you good to do that from Lord? <laughs> that's good copy too. Like they That's pretty it's pretty that's legit. Not, it's good copy. Carry, you know, I can, I'll mm. carry that with me. Mm-hmm. next few hours yeah sales top a hole i mean it's a problem because a lot of businesses are suffering bit, like like when you when you think about a business you think you know we really need to get make some sales did you guys um this is some sad local area news um land the, land. the um land news the place uh the electric cowboy and the the a- antique market next to it mm-hmm. mm. all that's going to be leveled to put in uh mixed use condo development mm, nice um uh, the only thing that's going to be left is Hooters. Yeah. I got I got mixed feelings about that. What about know. what about your uh, your uncle's billboard? Oh, Kennesaw is that gone? It's been gone. It's I, been th- gone. I think it's been a storage place for a while. Is it so? It's still around. Like no, the billboard like yeah. was in the middle. Oh, of the nowhere. Store, it's a storage place now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I was I wonder if somebody got a hold of it because that would be. Like they just tear down all yeah. of the wallpaper yeah. and they yeah. strip it at a time it. and reassemble yeah. it on the side of their house. Uh, yeah, actually. Technically, that was where. Well, it wasn't technically where I met Allison, but it was where we went went after I after we met Hooters. Yeah, no, not Hooters. <laughs> That's one of her customers. <laughs> uh, one of her customers now, though, like, but is actually Hooters. Uh, she has to fly to their uh, their home offices like like once or twice a year. Uh, it was uh, uh, Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. Manis talked me into going out that night, and I met her. Before we went to Cowboys. Cow- uh, Electric Cowboy was formerly Cowboys, and then formerly the Crystal, Crystal Chandelier. Chandelier. Yes. That's, that was when and, it was very classy. Before that, it was a Big Lots. That's right. And yep. before that, it was a Kmart. It was a Kmart, yep. Man, that's old school. I didn't know any of that. Yep. Yeah. Cowboys going to is that far big back lots. as I know. I remember going to the Big Lots with my mom. Crystal Chandelier reminds Kmart. me of the Crystal Chandelier we saw at that weird castle party. That Richard Butler threw. Oh, good segue. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, there was a big party in a castle that happened uh, over the holidays. Our friend Dick Butler had uh, many people over to a Tudor-style uh, castle in Decatur that uh, was acquired via uh, some kind of black magic. I don't know. I think it was uh, uh, one of those one of those Airbnb. It's an Airb- it was an Airbnb, right? Yeah, he was drunk over my house, and we were <laughs> shooting the idea back and forth. And he literally pulls it. We're in my projector in my living room. He just pulls it up, and he just starts going through. And he's like, "How about this one?" And I was yeah. like, "Yeah, it says Castle. Let's do it." <laughs> he gets the Super Nintendo picture from the video game Rampart. Yeah, and puts it on the event. And he's like, "There it is." See, I was slow to accept going to that because I thought it was literally one of those like uh, lock parties where. Yet you're trapped and you got to find the key and get out. Oh, uh, it, when you we said were going to play I Rampart, you, meant, you, you said like a key party, like or something. Like, yeah, it's like a sex party. <laughs> well, I thought it was some total eyes wide shut shit. He was pulling that, us into that. Too. Would have been kind of epic to yeah. everybody dress up like uh, like fucking in tuxedos and dresses and fucking wear the weird masks and shit. Yeah. Like freak everybody yeah. out that shows up. It, it was definitely a stretch to call it a castle, but it was fun. It's still a cool place. Yeah, there was. Um, there was some little like uh, rampart looking things around that little. There was a knight was a round turret. part of the house. Yeah, there was a there was a uh, there a was suit a, of armor. Yeah, and then there was a lot of uh, there was like a, a Sons of Ackworth performance just for Richard Butler, pretty much. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> um, and there was a stand up. Uh, yeah, he was comedy. very into there's, it. There was Justin Manis' Manis's stand up. Uh, it seemed the like roast. an hour, but it was maybe I don't know three minutes. Yeah, I missed that, but I heard it was really yeah. good. Richard Butler sitting on the sofa. He's like, he gets, um, he gets very into the music. There's John. Yeah, when he started beating on the floor, that was pretty awesome. Uh, his his knuckle was uh, yeah. tore up the next day because he was hitting the floor so hard. Yeah. 
Um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, later on, were you there when... Uh, <laughs> there he goes. He's like, he's throwing his hands in the air. He's rocking back and forth. He's um, he's a fan, man. He's he's getting really into the music. You're like, here's your wine, Mr. Butler. Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, no, top shelf Liga. Yeah. <laughs> And he's hearing, uh, he's hearing us uh, singing some old Sons Look of Eckworth songs. Sons of Eckworth yeah. in the back too. Yeah. What is that? Luke, Luke myself, yeah. Junior. It's basically our band There's doing our first you, uh, you, some pseudo performance in six years, and then Richard Butler is the audience. <laughs> There's a bunch of people here. <laughs> so uh, be jealous, everyone. Yeah, everyone, yeah. There was, I feel like I feel like late, well, out, everybody was looking. Everybody was seeing the fire dancing at this point. Right, we had fire spinners in the back, and yeah. there's people on that couch to the left that you can't see. Also, a group of people. Well, the yes. uh, well later on when when Junior and I started spinning, like more people. It seemed like more people showed up because yeah. I looked up at one. I was not paying attention for a while, and I looked up, and like your girlfriend was like dancing with like a hula hoop thing. Yeah, fire. And like fire somebody hoop. else was a couple other people were doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it was pretty cool. And then Justin took off with his harem, and so we lost a quarter of the partiers <laughs> yeah, at that point. Yeah. I like it was like a, quite a spread. Like Richard Butler is that guy in Limitless who's like, I met all of these people, and now we're going to go cliff diving. And yeah, uh, yeah. So they're like business people and yeah. his parents and then Sons of Ackworth and then Fire Spinners. Yeah. It was quite a spread. I like how there was like a shitload of sweet potatoes in the kitchen, and I was like, "Who brought the sweet potatoes?" And I was like, a "Richard." Whole turkey. Richard it ain't yeah. a party till you got some sweet potatoes. Yeah. There's Jen in the background. I can't believe Manis cooked the turkey. Yeah, that was pretty she crazy. Was, she was dancing. Uh, Christina. Oh, Christina. Yeah. yeah, she was dancing a lot. Yeah. Um, she's a trip. If she's got her badger head on and she's she's going hard. Oh yeah, she was parking when I showed up. She was yeah. like, "Park right here." So then I thought this yeah. was some. You know, she, Queen of the Witches party. She's got the drapes going. I don't know where she got the. Look at Butler, dude. Butler's, Butler's <laughs> on the, the ground. He's on the floor, <laughs> just digging it, <laughs> digging the shit out of it. That's that's the power of uh, of Sons of Backwards. He rap gives music. you street cred too, because like because he's into it, everybody else is like, oh, I guess we should pay attention to this. All right. Yeah. I like he was driving the uh, connections. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Look at that man! <laughs> Look at that crooner. You'll get some ass today. today. So uh, yeah, there's castle party. It happened. Um, I took a Uber ride out there. It was uh, how much was that Christmas Uber ride? It cost about like a uh, fucking uh, round trip about a hundred bucks. <laughs> round trip? Yeah. yeah. That's, I thought yeah. it was gonna be eighty each way. Like, um, that's what I was guessing. No, it was about a hundred bucks, and they uh, <sighs> and it was real remote. The place was out behind like a church next to a lake, and the, yeah. the off the map, off the grid. Yeah. Couldn't find it on Google Maps and stuff. Uh, you had to have pictures sent to you yeah. with like arrows. <laughs> Actually, the cool part was like, so it's like three a.m. I'm getting ready to go home. I I call the Uber up. Um, they're coming somewhere to try to find me in the outside behind the church in the w wilderness. Yeah, you can't GPS it. And um, you know how you can see on Uber when something's like near, and yeah. you're, you're like, I'm gonna walk and try to find you. So like this person, I think I must have been kind of terrifying to the person. Sure, yeah, I, you're I emerge out of the woods, out of the woods yeah. like in the middle of the night, yeah. like in a random fucking location. <laughs> That, pl that house I, was in a weird place. And yeah. then I tried to be extra personable because, like, I didn't want to give off yeah. any scary vibes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just that this fun yeah. thing. There's, guess what? There's, like, a big house in the woods. Yeah. I'm not going to chop <laughs> you up, dude. Don't worry. Yeah. No, the, like, we quit playing music at about five. And then I woke up. I don't remember going, I remember, I don't remember going to sleep, but I fell asleep on, like, a broken couch because I woke up in the morning and it was, like, that mm. like and i woke up and my back was like what the fuck like it was it was uncomfortable yeah i wasn't wow. trusting the couches that were available yeah like i was i'd find a place and then it just wasn't yeah the, the best place to stay i'd yeah. find another one so yeah. i have a little thing i want to try um okay if you have a uh so here here's here's an interesting thing um the uh the organist at uh, sun trust park uh did you know they alleged mm -hmm. they allegedly died? You oh no, I didn't hear about that. No, they were uh, they were raped and gunned down by MS13 thugs. Wow. So, no, I, I hope I hope we build that fucking wall no. soon. So, um, because of that, there's an opening, and I thought we should audition Michael 
um, for oh, the man. for the role. Because oh, yeah, who who else? If we could record, better do it. if we can record you uh, trying some ballpark organ um, songs, I'm just gonna throw some out. We'll see rapid mm-hmm. fire if you can play All the right. songs, right? Because okay. you know how okay. you didn't know how to play Domo Regato, Mr. Rovato, right? And right. That's a yeah. So, so this is like, deep into my well. This is the practice for the audition. Yeah. Basically. Okay. All right. So I think we try a few. I'm gonna just shout them out. And uh, and we'll see. You ready? Let's see how we go. Let's start with uh, and these are like things you might hear the organist play in between innings. And Mike, to make yeah. it authentic, maybe you can be doing some like play by play, like call I'll some play by play, call okay. some call some stuff. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give you some reverb. All right, Try. let's see. Try your, your let's, uh, here's the pitch. Foul ball. Uh, we didn't start the fire. Here, the stretch and the pitch. <laughs> Uh, we didn't Pop start. fly. No, I don't got it. Uh, uh, the charge fanfare. Uh, 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 <laughs> Adam's family. <laughs> Nail it there back. we go. Jeff Blouser. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jeff Blouser's up to bat. Kind of looks a little inbred. Okay. All right. Uh, the chicken dance. Let me do the charge again. <laughs> Okay, uh. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't got that either. Uh, take me out of the ball game. Uh, okay. This is Don Sutton for Carpets Dalton. Out of the big sign in Dalton. Uh, Bruce Springsteen Glory Days. Oh, so, no. uh. <laughs> <laughs> here's, your, uh <laughs> here's your Aflac trivia question. Um. Uh. <laughs> how many testicles does Chipper Jones have? YMCA. There you go. But, um, <laughs> let's go baseball. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, that. Wa- walking on sunshine. <laughs> and up to bat, former African American man Sammy Sosa. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is a this is a this is a lot. I don't this know if you're gonna lot. get that job. I d- um, two out of ten. <laughs> One more for you. Um, let's see. Green onions? No green onions, <laughs> but Booker T. And that's, yeah, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the Billy Crystal comedy song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stretch <laughs> and the pitch. <laughs> All right. I don't think you got that job, dude. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank God. Wasn't. I, I think wasn't we're auditioning the wrong guy. Left center. I think Braves Mike, win. Uh, Braves I think Mike win. Mike needs to go out for announcer. That, that motherfucker. Yeah, I hope MS13 go kill the announcer, and then Mike <laughs> Mike's gonna take that fucking I'll position. That, we auditioned the shit. wrong guy. I can just right. do a I mean, skip I, carry. Let's uh, try it again, but this time with a blindfold, bird box style. I'm, I'm just fucking. Yeah, everybody, get ready. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back with more Space Vision okay. Radio. Woo! <laughs> Have you been randomly punched in your balls by your son yet, or anything like that? Uh, no. My cat or my my dog will do it all the time. Oh my, yeah. yeah. Stella does that yeah, to me all the fucking she time. She did that to me today. Yeah. And um, I boy, I tell you, if you get clocked in the dude, it in hurts. The groin. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, by a excited dog. Yeah. And you just yeah. double over in pain. Yeah. And they don't even know what's what's yeah. happening. No. Would anybody get offended by me saying that? Is there anybody that gets offended by like uh, like animal uh, chatter what? or something? Like, like violence against dog owners? Like uh, just <laughs> everybody gets offended at everything. Fuck them! Yeah. Fuck yeah. them if they yeah. do. They're not watching. Like my de- my uh, like yeah. uh, like uh, like like uh, like, like pro you, pro nuts group. Just put a trigger warning. Like we're pro it, balls. It, it, we don't like you talking about balls getting hit. Do you think Put the a trigger, trigger warning, warning shit is going to get worse or it's going to like subside? Worse. Do you think it's going to get worse? worse? It'll get a lot worse and then there's going to be a backlash. Well, I think the backlash is already happening. Yeah, now. but it's going to be a, there's going to be a real backlash, not a not a fake backlash. 
I feel there's, like the backlash now up. is still like if you, if you ever say anything contrary to that agenda, then you're just well, when automatically. People rush, a, people, people rush to judgment over a fucking Twitter post now, and it's like you don't know the context of a video or a fucking like yeah. uh, like what somebody's saying or any of that shit. They just like immediately fucking jump on something. Because you only have two seconds to pay attention to anything exactly. before something and else happens, and then it fucking it's gone, and then it's basically like that minute that that fucking whatever was hot or whatever was fucking like, uh, you know, I guess like the like, the trigger warning like of the moment. Weeks ago, gone. weeks ago, Donald Trump had a bunch of hamburgers in the White House. Uh, <laughs> they how? called hamburgers, yeah, hamburgers. But now we're already on to other shit. But like, do you remember? Do you remember that could have stayed in the news for like a dude, fucking uh, no months back in the day. Dan Quayle misspelt potato. And that was literally like, the butt of every joke for like four years. Like if in 1994, like uh, fucking uh, Bill Clinton had 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 like you know a hundred fucking fast food hamburgers all in the White House yeah. and everything, like David Letterman would have oh, talked God. about it for four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, exhausting almost yeah. at some point. Yeah. Now it's like, God, what <laughs> else now? Yeah. Like you can't even keep up with what happens every day. No, you can't. That's why we're well, there. The, yeah, like, yeah, like when, uh, when, when he did the whole, the whole fucking fast food thing for Clemson, I was like, <laughs> this is just total example of of Donald Trump being an entertainer. I was like, this is what he is. This is. I was like, there's shit going on that's serious, like the government shut down. This, yeah. you know, like whatever. Fucking everybody, like the fucking uh, molars on his fucking heels right now, and yeah. he's like, I'm gonna do this. this. Is like a publicity stunt. Do you guys know about Venezuela? I That's know crazy. of Venezuela, and That's I've heard crazy. it's fucking going nuts. They they, they kicked our the people out of uh, well, the embassy we, and we, stuff. We recognize the opposition leader. Yeah, that's what Trump and then, said. That but today, so did yeah. like all of his neighbors, except for Bolivia. Yeah, and Mexico. And then yeah. Russia's warning us now not to intervene with the military, or they're going to have a response in because Venezuela they, because Venezuela is a strategic partner of Russia. What? Oh, because they're so well. Because they're, uh, they're enemies of us. Russia's just doing that. That's sure. the way it always is. Anybody that's yeah. not our friend is Russia's friend. It's yeah. one or the other. Yeah. I, I don't huh. like that our president is a Russian um, asset. He just likes Ru- he just likes Russian women to pee on him. Is it pee allegedly. on him? Or was the alleged, I mean, allegedly. The alleged thing is does does he pee on them? Allegedly, or does, but do they pee on him. Allegedly, they peed or, on or his does bed. Does he pee on them? Pee I don't understand. Everything's very you know they so they either with pee or financial leverage. Well, there's like something there. Here's the thing that I think it's all going to come down to is it's money. It's basically I, I don't think. I don't think it's conspiring. I think it's Trump was trying to make money, and he and and he and he basically like was trying to make money with with fucking Putin, and cross the wrong people, and then he basically kind of got caught in a situation where, you know, not necessarily saying that 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 Putin is telling him what to do or anything like that, but he kind of has to like watch what he does around fucking Russia. That's what I think it all comes down to. There's plenty of reason to not like know. Trump without needing any of that to be oh, true. Oh, God, yeah. And I think what's yeah. going to happen is because it's been hyped up to such an extreme level that if it comes out anything less than, like, totally damning, it's a win for Trump. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I think... Because yeah, I it's agree. like, see, they were at the, it, was, it was bullshit yeah. the whole yeah, time. I agree. And, well, and, and it would... And, and, like, I think at that point his base would go, well, he's just trying to make money. He's, yeah. That's what he does. Except he's a, I, he wheels and deals, <laughs> you know? Marie Kondo is going to come in and, and be like... Uh, what about your government doesn't spark joy? <laughs> Get rid of it. Yeah. Throw that shit in the trash. Dude, that shit, I watched that the other day, and I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, oh, we're doing it, yeah. actually. You're watching all of it? No, we're actually... You're th- doing we're the doing, thing? We're not doing, like, her exact method, yeah. but we're doing the spirit of it, which well, is, like, look around at all the crap you have. Yeah. If there's stuff that you don't really, like, have fun with anymore, get rid of it. I do that. I Like, I purge... Like clothes. That's and shit all like it that. is. But I she's that. a little nutty like every and crazy. Six months. But no, but yeah. like I was watching it uh, with Allison, and I was like, you know, the minute they turn those cameras off, she starts talking shit about all these fucking like she's fucking. She's like, oh, the family's these on it are like, filthy Americans. Like what the fuck? Dumb you know? as like, fuck. Yeah, these these fucking idiots. Like fat. <laughs> she's like that. 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 Just like that. can't emphasize how strange it was to see two different wrestlers at two different airports within a week of each other. Let's freestyle. What the fuck? Let's freestyle about from Act Worth to Wall Street. From Act Worth 
to Wall Street from Act Work. What? To Wall Street. What? From Act Work to Wall Street. Everybody got those bills to pay. Act Work to Wall Street. Everybody doing big things today. Act Work to Wall Street. Make those bad dreams go away. Act Work to Wall Street. Everybody loves to drink things made of hay. Act Work to Wall Street. Beers made of hops, not hay. Act Work. To Wall Street, but hops are like hey uh, anyway. Yeah. Act work to Wall Street. Henry's is an overrated place to eat. Act work to, to Wall, Wall Street. Street. Yeah, yeah. From old 41 all the way to Broadway. Yeah, we Act work to Wall Street. Writing checks. Pork bellies. Orange futures. You know what we do. From Lake Alatoona to the Hudson, we redding on up, east coast, let's climb that ladder, Bob. From Red Come Top on. Mountain to Soho, everybody's got things that they know, ag work to Wall Street, uh, it's ag work yeah. to Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, from Emerson to Tribeca, you know we gonna be there. Emerson to Tribeca, that's a hecka of a lot that's of distance. That's right. <laughs> it's a long flight. <laughs> Old folks home labyrinth, big as hell. Ackworth to Wall Street. Yeah. Everybody in there is not very well. Ackworth <laughs> to Wall Street. You're going to be dead in the old folks' home. Ackworth yeah. uh-huh. to Wall Street. I said you're going to be dead. They won't find you for weeks. Ackworth to Wall Street. People in New York don't get old. No. Ackworth to, to Wall Street. All the old people live in Ackworth. Ackworth to, to Wall Street. New York people uh, all have lives. Ackworth to Wall Street. Ackworth people just trade their wives. Ackworth to Wall Street. There's a cemetery, it's down the street. Ackworth to Wall Street. That's where the people with drugs like to meet. Ackworth to Wall Street. And the people with drugs like to have a lot of sex. Ackworth to Wall Street. People in New York like to sign those checks. Ackworth to Wall Street. People in Ackworth in a big brick house. Ackworth to Wall Street. People in New York so hungry gotta eat a mouse. Ackworth to Wall Street. Hey, look at me, I'm in New York. Ackworth to Wall Street. New York, they got big shit like this. Ackworth to Wall Street. What can I do for you? Extended stay on 41 to Broadway? Everybody like extended stays? There you go, extended stays. Do you, uh, do you remember? Not me. They're building one behind, uh, <laughs> in front of Abby's house. Uh, that, you hear about that one? That, nope. w- that one on 41, uh, Meredith had a story when she was delivering pizzas that uh. she opened the door, or a guy opened the door when she was delivering a pizza and he didn't have any clothes on. Yeah. Pretty regular. Like that, really? That, that place was a, it was a, it was a like cesspool a of front like, yeah. for just like drug dealing and yeah. prostitution. Maybe. Yeah. They're, uh, they're making a sequel to Baby Driver. You know about that? Is it called uh, Toddler, Toddler Driver? driver? <laughs> like it should be. Um, and I was thinking, like, if they're location scouting for it, I don't know if they are, but uh, there's a place if you're going 75 north, where uh, you're coming around the bend in Marietta, and there's this. Uh, you can see where Harry's Farmers Market used to be. Yeah, it's Studio right. Movie Grill on the right. Yeah, there's a movie theater. You can see it's like right there next to the interstate. There's an embankment. And I was like. It'd be so great if, uh, for the Baby Driver movie, they have a scene where there's a car chase. Car drives up that embankment and, like, th- crashes into the movie theater and, and then cut to inside the movie theater. People are watching a movie with a car chase, and the car, like, comes right through the fucking movie screen, do you, do you, crashes you, into the movie theater. When you said theater. this, I thought you, I thought you were going to go, uh, like, we're right down the street. Uh, where the Andretti's is, because you could legitimately drive off. Well, you could drive right into yeah, the top right of the Andretti's Andretti. racetrack so, like, too. Yeah, scene, that'd be good. In the scene, they're driving around in car in like cars themselves, you know, in like fucking go karts or whatever. And then the fucking baby driver comes in the the ceiling and then goes around the track and gets out the back or something. Yeah. What if you go? Uh, what if you go on the toller coaster and fly off of that somehow? Yes. yes. The where what? would where would be well, fun to fly off would, of that? Uh, you could exit at Hickory Grove to the new extended stay that they're building in front of Abby's house. There you go. Um, 
I had a con- I had a conspiracy theory. To it's spread. going to be awful. It's going had, to be awful. I had <laughs> got no business being there. I had a conspiracy theory <laughs> that maybe the whole game behind the um the new uh, express lanes is that it's a Trojan horse to build Marta Rail on it eventually. Yeah. Sure. Like sure. maybe. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, be. I feel like it'd be a little too. I don't know. Isn't it kind of curvy and like some. Uh, it go, probably it does is. There's a lot of up and down, too, for a market. Probably too I, much. I heard something a long time ago that the if you look at Cumberland, the Cumberland Mall, the parking deck is really weird because it's, like, attached to the mall itself. Yeah. And it's, like, over by the Macy's. Supposedly, they were going to they, the, they built it like that because they wanted the Marta Rail to, to come to the top so you could get out the Marta Rail and get into the mall. Yeah. So, but to that me, racist white people in Carr yeah. County, they don't want yeah. the, the Marta coming yeah. in. It's the law in Kennesaw. That's true. So uh, Michael, Michael uh, uh, has in many times in the past talked about uh, uh, you haven't seen many movies that many people have commonly seen. Yeah, uh, that, I, I have not seen many movies that most people have seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, some of some of you have seen some some films. You've made an effort since uh, you have last been on the show. Yeah. So I've got all these services now. You know, I got Netflix, and then uh, I'm trying to get my mom off the cable. Right. So, yes. So cord cut. I have a Hulu, and so you get two or three screens. So she gets to use one of them, and so and then I've got Amazon Prime, and then we got Sling. So mm-hmm. I got all these services, and then so I'm paying for it, and I'm gonna say, all right, well you can use the screen because I get three of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. And like, uh, you share. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in the meantime i've been saying all right i need to get caught up on these damn uh, comic books because everyone mm-hmm. you know if everyone has seen all of them yeah i never cared about <laughs> it <laughs> right never cared about like superpowers right? yes yeah never cared. I, I yes. Never cared. so uh but i said i needed to get caught up with them and i saw a few of them and but they're so disjointed the order i don't know what the order is you know, yeah they bleed well, together and they share characters there's been like 20 marvel movies in a sequence it's all continuity with, and, uh, with the Marvel shit. Yeah, and yeah. you you kind of picked a few out of random. Yeah, like it's not even Tobey Maguire anymore, right? And um, yeah, it hadn't been yeah. Tobey Maguire in a while. Yeah, there's another guy in between that. Some too. O- some other guy, Andrew Garfield. You know, wasn't the Man of Steel? It's a new sure. Cavill is that his name? Yeah. Henry Cavill. Henry yes, Cavill. yes. The first movie I'd watched out of this whole thing was uh, Ant Man and the Wasp Two. Yeah, yeah. Is that's Honey, the I first, Shrunk the Kids. The first one. That's out the of first all one you watched ever. Yeah, and she was in the, <laughs> so weird. She was in the quantum world and yeah. had to go shrink down to uh, yeah, get Michelle her. Pfeiffer. Yeah, you're actually yeah. spoiling me because I've actually never seen that one. Oh, it's that's good. like it's the good. one I it's haven't. A lot of oh, shrinking wow. going on. That's good. It's on Netflix now, I think. And then then I decided I was going to watch Thor Ragnarok because I could okay. Knew. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I knew that <laughs> watching in the weirdest order. I'm ever. gonna watch Ant Man two, Thor three. <laughs> so, I don't know the numbers. It just was, I knew Ragnarok was a thing in the uh, 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 gods and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. So I was watching, and there, it, there's this thing, and then Loki walks by and he sees the the unobtainium in Zeus's pantry, and then he takes it. I was like, what's the point of that? And, uh, <laughs> but then later you see it in Infinity War, right? Uh-huh. And, and in Thor, so he goes to. There's all these worlds, and you're on the rainbow yeah, bridge, bridge, the Bifrost, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah, the Bifrost. Yeah. And Heindel. You got Middle the Earth, the uh, Old Earth. Yeah. Um, giant World. Yeah. The Pipe World. And then pipe world. <laughs> then you go to uh, Garbage, the a landfill that's managed by Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so he's in there, and then the creature comes out. I knew it was going to be the Hulk. And mm-hmm. I thought for sure it was going to be Edward Norton, but it shrinks down, and it's... Um, it's the guy for it's Vincent D'Onofrio. Actor. So yeah. how did you like seeing these movies the way you did? Did you I, enjoy them? Yeah, because they're just standalone. I'm not like That's just then I got to understand what the Ash was when they when they came up in the Ant World. It, at the end of it, yeah, there's yeah, Ash. Yeah, yeah, you haven't then seen I saw it, Infinity, Infinity War. War. It, you no, saw then, Infinity then I went War? and saw it, and yeah. and then uh, I was like, okay, there's Wakanda, there's yeah. Iron Man, there's Groot. <laughs> I like how he's watched three yeah. movies and he's like they're he's piecing like, together who they are. And it's like, oh, there's Iron there's the Man. Galaxy people yeah. and and heroes are always arguing with each other. It's like, oh, are you oh, strong? Yeah. I'm strong. Yeah. Who? You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not a working together. What's that all about? That's well, you're watching all the. You're actually watching the ones at the end, the more recent ones. Thor is a good one to watch, by the way. You, the first Thor. I, the, the, no, that one. That the, one. Yeah, Ragnarok's Rock, one movie. of the better ones. Very, you kind of jumped five, into the good ones. Is kind of what you did. But oh, is there shitty ones? Well, no, so many well, characters are com- just, coming together, and so uh, they part Captain of the America, Captain America, 
uh, Winter Soldier, I think, is my favorite one of all of them. And then I saw Justice or, League, yeah, <laughs> which is yeah. next in the Marvel series. Oh, Justice League, yes, and yes. Um, that comes next, yes, not in the Marvel. Yes, no, it does. Marvel you does. know the great. Yeah. You're the, you're on uh, the original. The continuity. late great Stanley. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the great Stanley. And so yes. you, they come down, and the Flash is there, and he's just some kid and Wonder Woman, and all, yeah. all they're all there in the Cyclops. They say Excelsior. Yes, they're like yes. let's let's make sure let's. Why can't the Flash have uh uh like some sort of like um. He's on the spectrum, you know. He probably is. They, yeah. pro- well, they did that with Loki. Well, they kind of did that. In yeah. the spirit of like uh, you, uh, you know, uh, having missed out on a lot of movies that a lot of people have seen, which we've talked about before, uh, we're gonna try to do like a re- you know those popular trailer reaction videos okay. like where people yeah. are like, yeah, oh, I'm watching the trailer for the new thing that just came out. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna show Michael some trailers to react to. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I, I don't. Are we gonna be on the screen? Here? Yeah, I don't think you've okay. seen these trailers before. Okay. Um, All right. Here, because I'm, I'm so I'm just such a newbie. What do they call it? A neophyte. Okay. Right. Like a I don't neophyte. know. I don't yeah. know none of this. What is this? This is uh, the Tyson Holyfield fight. <laughs> All right. We got. Let's some, get your reaction. Let's get your reaction. We got some, some oh, celebration is, going on. Looks, yeah. Somebody just got his registration. Our wedding. Oh God, who's what's he thinking? <laughs> He's like, I. Why didn't you invite me to the wedding? Oh, you did. Very good. This is a. Is this whole movie about the wedding? Is this the piano? <laughs> or the notebook? <laughs> Jesus, this looks like shit. <laughs> Who wants to watch a movie all about a wedding? You don't. Oh yeah, see. God, yeah, he's he's passed out. Is that, is that Tobey Maguire? Passed out during the ceremony. And that's where we had the party. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty yeah. close. Oh. He's like, okay, I need a thousand dollars to plan your event. Oh, you ain't gonna do that. It's a little steep in the eighties or whatever this was. Those napkins are gonna cost at least two hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, that's a uh, homosexual erotica. I told you I wanted red napkins. <laughs> I can. I gotta wipe my face off now with my fingers. <laughs> He's a little overdressed, don't you think? Catch up. This, is this where they had the wedding too? Out in the middle of shit-ass sand nowhere. Look at that. Look at. I hope that's not a rental. Take that back with dirt all up. Fuck. Ain't taking shit back now. How long is this movie? <laughs> <laughs> I feel is like I'm really a trailer. I'm sure I've seen all hour and a half of this of this movie about a wedding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cake's a bit bitter. Is this the original trailer? There's no way. This, oh, this, this, is, this is like a plot summary. They're giving away everything. They're giving away pretty oh, much this everything. Is the, this is the way they cut the trailer back then. It's like it's crazy. It's not. It's not even video. It's all photos. A million screenshots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like uh, I don't know. Hard pass. Two out of ten. Yeah. Uh, all right. You have to understand. That's an ad. That's, uh, the oh, it's little Opie Cunningham. It's Opie. Yeah. yeah. Skip ad. Uh, brought to you by Opie. Okay, here's a new one. Alive today. Who has survived open water. Of years of evolution. Without it's change, Deep Blue Sea too. Without passion. And without logic. Michael's gonna now watch these movies. That's one of the other things yeah. that's gonna happen. He's gonna have to watch these. Uh, I don't know about that first one, though. It looks... It looks like dog shit. I need to fix the, uh... Anything. Is this like the Dark Knight? They need to it fix the, as if God the tent. Created the devil and gave him jaws. Oh, now that shit, man! <laughs> Dude, what is this? Yes, totally, this man. Is Universal's When's this coming out? Motion picture version. 
<laughs> see some hoes on the beach. <laughs> I'm about that, yeah. I'll put that in the playlist. You knew there was a shark out there. Go get that shit. And you knew it was dangerous. This is Daryl Hannah emerging from Mermaid Land. When chicken fighting goes wrong. Yeah, I'm already sold on this one. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. This isn't going in the queue. You like this one? Yeah. Okay. There's one more. You'll have to All watch right. that one. That looks like a that looks like a winner. Right. Okay, here we go. Okay. What the fuck phantasm. is this? I don't know. Of a disordered mind, a phantom, a spirit, a ghost. Fuck. What the hell? For ten years. We, we back at that same wedding, aren't we? Is this a sequel? Has remained. They should. Did they make a sequel to that one? It was definitely the burbs. Now, three innocent people are about to discover the ultimate evil. You think that when you die, you go to heaven, you come to us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this isn't... I don't know if I believe this. Good Lord, a lot of action. I like it. A lot of science fiction, a lot of sex. Action-packed. Uh... Documentary. This summer, the ball is back. Dude, I would just it's avoid that thing. Electric boogaloo. No, it's not. Man, I, I, I feel like that's trying to pack in a whole Wasn't lot of. Was there a guy that you knew at Publix that was obsessed with those, or was it the know, Howling can... movies? No, that's Produce Nick. He was um he was into the Howling movies. Okay. I was actually going to talk about that because. Uh, yeah, you know, Smosh too was at that Publix and um, Smosh. I want I want to figure out the na the last name of Produce Nick. This is a, this is a message to anybody that worked um, there too, that uh, may know the name of the guy Nick in the produce department. Produce Nick. Um, we only called him Produce Nick. I worked with him directly in the produce department, and he was, uh, he was amazing. And I want to have him on the podcast if yeah. I can look him up and find him. But I have no idea how to find him and. So, I don't remember the Howling movies. I've seen remember. three of them. Yeah. <laughs> which are your well, favorite? What? Like, so you see uh, all of the Howling movies, but you've never seen. Them. I think there which were four. The best? Four. And um, the best? Oh, the first one. The yeah. original Howling, as is the case with most things, sure, right? Sure. But then the second one uh, is that the one where the, she was the news lady, and then one of them was the one with the strobe lights went off, and they were marsupials in Australia. I can't keep up, but. First one was obviously the, <laughs> the gold best. standard. It's the, it's the it, there are sequels because the the first was so good. Yeah, that's basically like it. the Leprechaun. Like have, Leprechaun. Yes. Speaking of sharks, have you heard the Baby Shark song that got everywhere? Oh, stop. Yes. <laughs> have you heard of that? Yeah. Yes. I've heard that's of it. something, isn't it? That's that that became so big that that do, 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 yeah. Baby Shark. Yeah. Do you play that mm, for your son? No. Um, I think my sister does. They they play uh, in my son's school. They play these. There's a whole. There's a whole lot of shit on YouTube, you know that? There's, um, there's, uh, there's, there's, you wouldn't believe all the all shows. The YouTubes? Yes. There's a, um, there's a whole genre of, uh, dance songs for kids to play in school and dance together. Like this one. Okay. Um, this is, uh, so they dance to these songs. There's these guys that make these videos. We could do this. Oh my god. Are you ready? So you just produce a song like this that's something this stupid and you'll get millions of people to watch your video on YouTube and play it in school and get the kids to dance to it. Hello, and this is how we popsico. You make the hinkle dance? I'm not looking forward to when my kid is into this kind of shit. I'm not looking forward to that. We should make a song like this. We should totally. Uh, well, how many views does this video have? Probably just like, a, let's see. Do you want to guess and predict? Like, I don't okay, know. Okay, I'm going to say, say the production quality is pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah, the like video it production looks like it looks like something that would be on Nickelodeon or something like that in the middle of the day. I would say I'm gonna go two million, two million views. All right, how many do you guys think? That's a question. There's really how no many, how many hammered. How many views? There's really no limit to how how high is something this. Mike says how many views this has? Yeah, Mike says two million. Forty million. Yeah, I mean, there's no limit. Uh, for what, how much you say? I, mean, I said forty million. Forty million. Gangnam Style. Forty million. So you said two. Said now you're talking million. to a cat. Forty yeah. million. Wait, listen to the cat. Oh, what? His hands are high. His feet are low. Dude, we could do this shit. <laughs> That's what I'm so saying. So easily. And what does Popsico? They just made words up like, like gibberish. Hey, Hinkle. You know what? Hey, what? Time to dance. To yeah. what? To what? Stupid I don't want song. to. We should like Hinkle's like the Oscar the Grouch character. Time to join yeah. the army. The army. The army. Hey, Acid Logan. Nightmare. Hey, what? Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the, the, every so often you drop little subtle things like that in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. The beat is basically just like those auto hey, drum hot dogs dog. they put on the like yeah. on here somewhere. Pop what? Pop what? I'm a hot dog at the Taj Mahal. My hands are high, my feet are low. And like you could do, you could say anything, and a kid and kids would go. It just looks silly, so they're just like, this is catchy. And, and, and it gets catchy. them moving. That's the it thing. It gets them moving too. Yeah. They do in, in their breaks yeah. at school. And yeah, and the teacher and the teachers don't have to like deal with the kids for a few minutes. This has um, how many? 17 million? 17 million views, so right about in between. So, yeah. You guys? Yeah, I went low. Your hands were low. I went your low. Your hands are high, low. your feet were low. Pop, pop, Seco. On, on the way home, I'm going to have that in my head. It's catchy. Um, But they have, a, but I mean, case in point, about it, they have a lot of shit on YouTube. Like Sawyer, uh, my boy, uh, his obsession lately is types of money, right? Like, Currency? Like, currency. Like, like he, Coogan Grand? Like he's he's obsessed with like uh how the dollar bill looked in the eighteen hundreds and stuff like that. And how did, how did it change over time? And then um, when he gets into something like that, his first inclination is wanna go find a video on YouTube. So there's videos on YouTube of people like going like this is how the dollar bill looked. There's so much. There's and a video of everything you could think of. So like yeah. we literally could do a video that somebody would watch about like the fucking lid of a of a Play-Doh yeah. container. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, like 100 years from now? Well, it'll be like you know. Yeah, 100 years from or 50 years from now they go, what is this? Play-Doh yeah. lids of uh the the 2010s were two and a half inches diameter but the lids from the 1990s mm -hmm. were extra half inch bigger. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can get more Play-Doh so in the container, <laughs> so they don't do as much Play-Doh now. This is before they outlawed Play-Doh. Because, like, now, you know, like, you know, they sell it for the same price, but there's not as much Play-Doh in it. <laughs> like and subscribe! Like Check and out subscribe. my video! Hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Next week I'm gonna talk about, uh, the size of, 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 a uh, cheese ball containers. Yeah. You ever see... <laughs> People just reviewing food, Shit. like just standard food. Like, I'm going to try a hot dog now. Yeah. Or like a, qu a quarter pounder. And they've got like multiple like, events of the same thing. Uh, I like the the reaction videos to music that obviously people have heard before. And they act like they've never heard it before. That yes. may be... Like, we were talking about that a while back. Yeah. Like, and... and, and yeah. I, I've gone Bohemian down that... Bohemian Rhapsody. I've like, gone down not. that... that, that that uh, rabbit hole before, yeah. and it's like usually, and the people are like overly acting. Like, I've never heard of this before. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, the Bohemian Some Rhapsody band shit's called fucking. Queen, that or... video, that video of that dude is like, what the fuck is going on right now? He's like, everybody <laughs> is acting. What the fuck? Like, yeah, he's like, people are singing. He goes, people are acting like they've never fucking heard Bohemian Rhapsody. It's like the most popular song. Like ever, uh -huh. like you know, if you've gone to a fucking store, you've heard Bohemian Rhapsody. Like. I I work with um like uh primarily, uh, like my company is mostly um females in their twenties, and nice. No, I'm just Not kidding. Bad <laughs> hey man, that can't be. It can't. Me stop too, that. era. Me too, era. Sorry. Stop it. Sorry. So I'm having a conversation with one of them at the holiday party, and she says um. Like straight faced, like, um, we're talking about music. Uh -huh. She's like, I, I, 
oh yeah, I'm gonna get to go see Fleet Mac Wood. No, and, uh, stop. Uh, no, no. And I said, uh, and I, nope. I, I was like, nope. nope. I to myself, nope. I'm like, <laughs> nope. And then I, I even like talked about it with somebody else. I was like, she says she's gonna go see Fleet Mac Wood. Yeah. But then, like a couple days later, I googled it, and that is a DJ that remixes Fleetwood Mac. And then oh I felt God. like a dumb dipshit <laughs> was out of touch. Yeah. Oh so don't God. play the like, oh, you're the silly millennial, yeah. don't know uh, things game because that's you're happened probably to me wrong. So many times with my kids. My kids are talking about this rapper named Kirko Bangs. Oh <laughs> Have you heard of this guy? There's a rap. This is years ago. He's like, yeah. oh yeah, you heard that new Kirko Bangs track? And I'm, and I'm like, are you like Kirko Bangs? They're like, who's that? Like they they Kirko, know Kirko, Kirko Bangs. Kirko who Bang. obviously ripped his name off Kirko Bangs. They don't even know who Kirko Bangs is. That's fucked up. A ASAP Rocky or whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. Like they don't know what ASAP Rock is. Uh, it's like you know, come on. They're always doing that. Like co Com Trues. Mm -hmm. just funny. But they yeah. don't even get the source uh, it was ripped from. Yeah, it's Calm like, Trues. Me. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I always uh, like Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's DJ Megan Fox, who's just a dude. Space Pigeon Radio. Notice that Martin's restaurant is always covered up with people. Oh, it's yeah. fucking packed. during biscuit hour, dude. Like the, when they when they like they built a new one up the street. Oh, you lucky motherfucker! And well, I mean the thing is, is like I'm not I a fucking I, love that place. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. The I'd shit, I've never I liked it. Oh, it's so good. Well, you know what I don't like is like I'm turned off to like there's a line of fucking fifteen cars no, like, out of yeah, the place, sure. and I'm like, mm. no biscuit is worth that no. to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally agree with you with, on, on that on that front. But Sitting they do have drive good, good ass biscuits. For fast food, it's good fucking like, basket biscuits. You know, there's not a a secret to like what Chick Fil A does and puts three lanes. Like you can yeah, do that. Sure, yeah. Martin's could do that on new construction. But no, they got to do it so that the cars have to be like out in the goddamn no, street mm -hmm. trying the, uh, to get into the it. The one because that's uh, the the sales pitch of like years ago when I lived in Paulding <laughs> County. Like on Sundays, I, like I remember, like trying to get past the Martins, and the oh, line yes. would be all the way out into like, oh, what is what is that? Uh, fucking, I can't remember the name of the fucking road up. It's over by Dave Chevrolet, like up yeah, there, one twenty or one twenty or ninety two. Or or fucking, it would be out all the way into the fucking street, and people were just like, "I'm waiting on the, Martins." That's the one I remember. It was like the first Martins that popped up, and yep. I grew up in that area. And we were like, "Let's go try this new Martins place," and it was like a lot, like a soup stupid line and then like i got the fries and the fries were awful and i immediately hated martin's forever so Did get, i didn't even know they had fries i guess maybe they do they still have fries or uh, they not or there's no telling because i i, I, I stopped can't, going i can't get in there because it's impossible the to get biscuits in there. are fucking good they're fu they're huge they're like that fucking big i mean i remember like on like the rare occasion i was able to yeah. get into the one in kennesaw and try it i mean it's it's a fast food biscuit sandwich like it's it's not like you know that's why like why it's not are there the best fucking thing ever why are there 20 people trying to get in there <laughs> all the it's time it's good like like i wish there I was think one they're close programmed. to me yeah i, I think a place to be no they're programmed to like it's martin's where well, do you dude, get your biscuit dude chick-fil-a is the same way though <laughs> chick-fil-a chick-fil-a like they, they're marketing and everything they are geniuses because they basically got young white women to believe that it's not fast food at a very young age like i'm not even kidding every every female i know doesn't consider chick-fil-a to be like the same as mcdonald's or like you know like taco bell or whatever it's the same shit though it's still fast food they're cooking peanut oil well yeah sure but like but it's like <laughs> i never say thank you when, okay. I, when I lived off uh, my pleasure when i when yeah, I, I, I lived in kennesaw and it was over by the i lived over by the college with Hinkle. 
uh, there was a Chick Fil A right around the corner, and fucking that, and it's had the fucking two or three fucking drive through lanes, and it would back up every morning. Is this the one on Barrett? Yeah, the, the one on Busby. Okay, the one yeah. on Busby. So I used to go to the one when I was, I guess, not working in the day. Maybe I was teaching karate, and I would go to that Chick Fil A on on Barrett, and I would go in there, and there would always be like single moms or stay at home moms. Yeah. Like with the baby, just pushing them and just talking to each sure. other, and there'd yeah. be like three or four, like just moms pushing the baby. Not the, watching. They're super like, accommodating to people with kids, though. Like it's, I will say that, like a, as someone that has a kid now, it's like I went into one and they're like, wait on you, hand and foot. They like, actually brought us food and stuff. Like it was nuts. Mm. But the, like, the, this is really fun. when I worked for Arby's, I was I was the the they were doing this like orientation type thing, like. And uh, it was like one of the head marketing people came in and was like, we're going to do a little exercise now. And he had like pieces of ba basically like logos from all these like, you know, well-known fast food joints. And it was like, put them in order of quality, you know, to, it was like from one to like 10, you know, and it was like Chick-fil-A, Burger King, you know, KFC, blah, 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 all this shit, Subway. And it was like, and all the women in the room were like Chick-fil-A number one. And, and, like, there were two or three dudes that were from the north, and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, Chick-fil-A is dog shit. Like, they were just basically, like, they were like, they were like Chick-fil-A isn't fucking, like, fast food. They were like, like, two women said that. Mm -hmm. They go, well, it's better quality. And da -da -da. they're like, it's fucking fried chicken. Like, no. And they, like, it was, it was a guy from New York and a guy from, like, Chicago, and they were like, I don't fucking understand the Chick-fil-A thing. He's like, everybody down here loves it. And I was like... I was like, it's just the business model. And, they, and the, basically the marketing... it's the pickle. Well, the marketing guy was, like, trying to say, like, you know how have they gotten to this point, you know? And it's like, you know, trying to make the point that, like, you know, Chick-fil-A's whole business structure is, like, it got people to convince that it's not fucking fast food. Like, mm. it was pretty interesting. Well, it's, it was, a, it's a stretch to go from, like, KFC to Chick-fil-A. It's definitely, like, if you compare mm. it. There's a quality a difference for sure. But it's also, like, the way they treat their employees, the way the yeah. employees treat everybody else. They give them fucking Sundays off, all that kind they of shit. They both give me food. It's, like, whole breast, yeah, like, white good meat. Good enough. Dude, and like the my pro, pleasure. The my pleasure yeah, thing yeah, is, like, yeah. a real big thing. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, that's an impossible standard. Once and you go to a Chick-fil-A and then you try to go anywhere else, it's like, hey, did you uh, yeah. forget my napkins again? In my in my current life, you know... Um, I used to, uh, if I needed some shit, go to Walmart, Yeah, you know, and I still do, but like nowadays, if you give me the choice, I'm going to go to fucking Target oh, because here. Walmart I fucking hate Walmart. is a hell experience. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Oh, yeah. Now, now they don't you, even stay open 24 hours anymore. They so don't, what's the point? They don't, and you can never check out in nope. any kind of speed. No, nope. mm. and so it's um, a cage of self checkout things that yeah. they corral you into. The last time I went there, yeah. I went to go pick something up that I bought online. And I went to the I went to the front area and oh, waited don't in do line. That. They I, fucked that no, up. Really I waited badly. in line and then I get to the top of the line and it was like people getting money orders and all this shit. And I was like, obviously this is probably the place where you go pick up online orders. There's fucking shit stacked everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I get to the front of the line and they're like, you don't pick up the online orders here. You go all the way to the back. And I was like, okay, like the where? Area. And yeah. then like I went back there. Nobody there. It looked like it looked like, like somebody like if I looked in the corner, somebody be like with a fucking heroin needle like in the corner, and the lights like fucking flickering and shit. Yeah, I was yeah. like, Where the fuck You're about am to get I? Stabbed. It was something from like it. Lo it looked like a scene from uh, Beetlejuice after they die. Like it was like that. I was like, what the fuck? And then finally this lady comes out and she's like eating a sandwich and she's like, oh, and she puts it down and walks out and she's like, what do you want? And I was like, I heard something online that should be here. She's like, fuck you for ordering it. Uh, she's like, God damn it. And then she <laughs> fucking proceeded to, and no one else is there. She proceeded to, and there was some guy in the back and they fucking talked and f tried to find my shit. Yeah, this son of a yeah. bitch ordered a thing. <laughs> His motherfucker. His and, asshole made yeah. me get up. So is that, and, then, and then I was like, I was like, I'm never fucking going to Walmart again, like yeah. or something like that. I mean, yeah, the whole point always was, hey, there's always a place if you're driving overnight. <laughs> I'm like, if you're driving in the middle of the night, you need something at two in the morning, like. Yeah, you need chicken like, wings and I batteries. I need a USB cable and some <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> they don't even have that shit. Like a year ago, I needed audio cables. I needed like like just standard fucking RCA cables. And fucking, I went there, and all they had were six foot RCA cables. I was like, they didn't have a choice. It was just you got these, and they were like fucking like twelve dollars a piece. And I was like, I need like twenty mm. like twenty feet of this shit for like something I was doing, like I think it was like a wedding or something. Like I think it was, it was a wedding. I can't remember. I can't fucking remember. But I needed these audio cables like that night, and I was like, fuck. And my uh, only option. Yeah, has I was failed. like, my only option is basically, and I had yeah. to get fucking connectors. So it was like I had to buy the connectors too. 
So the, it was like the the female the female to male shit. Mm. You could have gone to Best Buy and got the gold plated yeah, but, monster cable that was seventy five dollars. Yeah, not I, in the middle I, of the night. I, I, not in the middle right. of the night. Exactly. I ended up spending like thirty bucks. Do you guys have a? You were talking about like Netflixing with your mom earlier and stuff. Like, you guys, you, no, dirty. you notice um <laughs> You notice that the Geek Squad at Best Buy is like a, a business unit designed to prey on baby boomer boomers. Oh, like, for oh, sure. Like, like, oh, God. Like total ignorance yeah. of anything. Yeah. But I mean, uh, it, they have. Yes, but the, also that's a segment's got to get filled too. Right? Yeah, it's like, it, that they, they. I don't want to have to They do serve it. a purpose. Like, uh, and it's like. But they they oh when I hear about what they do I'm oh like, they oh, fuck what, all kinds of shit up. What is it? What do they do? No, they like if they're selling like a laptop to your grandma or something. Uh, or your mom, they'll, they'll like, uh, you know, they'll they'll sell them the packages and the this support package. You want and that McAfee fucking, fucking McAfee bullshit yeah, Mac, on you it? You want and fucking, like, uh, yeah? Cro- cro- uh, was it carbon black? So there's a They've space been doing to be filled for at least twenty years. Because I, I used to be a Best Buy computer salesman in the right the two thousand right around two thousand. And I had sales managers tell me all the time, like, uh, you know, don't sell people the regular printer cable, sell them the gold printer cable, yeah. the gold plating. Yeah. Yeah. They literally told me to tell them. That, so and retarded. I knew the, otherwise. I'm a computer <laughs> yeah. science major at the time. I was like, tell them that the gold plated printer makes the image come out higher quality because it's a better conductor. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That's yeah. what, it, it, I mean, they, <laughs> we were just, it was Dude, I knew, complete nonsense. I, I knew all kinds of people that, that would buy all the monster cables, and it was like, they thought it was a better, and I'm like, dude, it's fucking the same goddamn shit. Yeah. I was at Best Buy, and I bought, I've been getting into the smart home whole thing. Cool. I talked to it, I was like, hey, Google, turn my turn my lights, and yeah. open the door. And um, <laughs> so I, I was at Best Buy, and I bought uh, the smart light package, because I want to get like the red, uh, the red hue for the my sleep cycle. Right. Yeah. Oh, and the cool. alarm lights oh, blasted God. me in the face. So I, I was trying to buy it and it's light bulbs, right? I know they're LED lights, but it's just fucking light bulbs. And then the girl asked me if I wanted the two year warranty, the protection plan. Yeah. I was like, You wanna kiss my ass? Yeah. No, I've been <laughs> asked that, I've been asked that with video games. Yeah. And I'm like <laughs> fu- what? Like Yeah, do you want the service package on your used copy of Tony Hawk four? On this Kit Kat? Do they make smart like uh, flush? Hey Google, flush my toilet. I don't doubt. Oh, I, I mean, if they, they make, do. if they at Luke's house, they got hey Google, uh, spray my cooch, spray you know, my cooch. Yeah. Blow, blow some yeah. air in my yeah. bum hole. Yeah. Clean, my, clean my, uh, clean my taint. Hey <laughs> Google, hey Siri. I like it. It needs some u- uh, user experience. <laughs> <laughs> Siri went off. Siri's checking out what's going on. They did. Uh, they did uh, bust Chris Hansen, right? You hear about all that? Oh, what no. did they bust him on? D- uh, on did they bust him as a pedophile? Come on! No, it was he bounced like thirteen thousand dollars in checks, Uh-oh. and then uh, he said, "I swear to God, I thought it was eighteen thousand. What? Goes, <laughs> I, I didn't make that joke. <laughs> I, I stole that. Joke. That was there good though. Is. Yeah, there yeah. Is. Why don't you have a sheet? Have a seat here. <laughs> He's gonna go to fucking prison probably with all the people that he all put the pe- there all on the that show. Asses? Yeah. Like, that's not a good situation. Yeah, I wonder how that works. I, mean, I feel like they need to segment the population a little better than that. Like, they've got layers of hell. You'd think prison, they no, would put, he's like, not, check he's, bouncers No, in. he's a famous person, and he did fucking white-collar crime. So yeah. like, it's, he doesn't go to federal He's not going to go found, Yeah, he's not going to go there. But that would be really funny if he did. That's a, <laughs> that's a movie right there. That's a fucking movie script. Yeah, Dave Chappelle did a skit about this. Did he? About yeah, uh, yeah, Chris Hansen? Yeah, about about the different treatment of people. Oh, oh. And then they go down and like and like they uh, they go to the white. He's like, what if it was the other way around? They go in to arrest the white guy for financial crimes. And they like, somebody shut that damn dog up. And the dog's basically doing this. Oh yeah, he's walking he around, sh- he shoot the, the dog. dog grenade I remember and shoot that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Meanwhile, the black yeah. guy's like, I plead the fifth. Yeah, one, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a funny skit. He schedules when he's gonna come in. Mm-hmm. So you think you come in on Thursday? He's like, oh no, I can't do that. I got- <laughs> He rolls yeah. in two days later with a couple of girls on his own. Can we do a leg stretcher? <laughs> I was a, like, what was the, the, uh, when keeping it real goes wrong? Like the one where he goes, he goes in the meeting and he goes, I fucking quit this job. Wu Tang! Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. He goes, Wu Tang! Boy, that was a great show. <laughs> that was a fucking great show. Yeah. Space Pigeon Radio. What should we, what should we do this about? Let's see. Are we going to jump right into it or do you want to? We can kind of jam on something and get into something.
Many people came from far and wide to get inside this structure. Erupted from Earth, sons of Antwerp, giving birth to a throwdown, unprecedented in art. Suit up in medieval armor, blow up the rampart as we embark on this journey. Arrive at the dark, sweet potatoes in the kitchen with bottles of Maker's Mark. But this is part of a new dynamic and party. The authorities don't pay attention because we aren't minorities. Illegal activity getting representation from McCartney. This is otherwise known as Richard Butler's Castle Party. This is otherwise known as Richard Butler's Castle Party. 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 Ultimate Warriors, presidential class of 99, no neon tassels on our arms, cause in the ring we don't wrestle. Mr. Crow writing newspaper articles in the classroom might get hassled. But fuck that, we gonna party in this castle It's not Wrestlemania, I'm just trying to explain to you Unattainium, we mined it up from under Castlevania Sold for fortunes untold to pay my Uber fare Put this shit online, see if any unpaid YouTubers care Drop a little nerd cred, Warwick Davis and Billy Barty All coming to this motherfucking castle party Dance around wearing drapes, curtains and fiery hoops If the troops invade this shit, we go 150 proof Molotov off the roof, that's right, we built a wall for in fact more stones in the temple of doom. Dr. Jones whip cracking straight back and release the kraken. Dragon scales and chain mail, we got the weapons, let's joust. I said we got the weapons, let's joust. Fuck a geek saying that's not a castle, it's a fancy ass house. It's in the Tudor style. Look up on computer while you marvel at the throwdown going down in this domicile. This is otherwise known as Richard Butler's Castle Party. This is otherwise known as Richard Butler's Castle Party. Castle Party. Castle Party. What? Castle Party. 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 Castle Party.